war. It's a powerful thing. It makes names, it gives titles. And when you have a dragon, it's hard to lose. Dragons breed war, war breeds titles. Titles breed more titles. King of North Valyria, Emperor of the Ashes, Ruler of the Valyrian Isles, Settler of the City. These were only some of the titles Valerian had earned, but he was not done yet. He had made great swathes of economic changes, growing the cities of Illyria and his coffers, until his wealth was undeniable. With loans across the realm, he had secured all the mainland, and had been the first to lay foot in the ancient capital of Illyria. He had done the impossible, but there was still so much more ahead of him. His son and eldest daughter were now wed, and of age, ready to inherit what he had built. While his daughter showed signs of cunning in battle, a quick mind, a commander's ability and a great swordsmanship. The son was showing himself a bit dull. He had talent, and he had shown this talent, but at the same time, he had already leaned on his wife for aid almost every day. For now, the slow was the only name that described him. The usurped. That is what they called Alex. His grandfather, Bathan, had been promised the crown by all lords and kings of the realm. The betrayed. Every single lord who had promised their claim had turned against them, had sided with this false king who now sat the throne. And now he had no army, no men. He had no way to even try and restore his claim. He was alone. He was lost. He was usurped. Titles had determined his path, his life. Titles held more power than he'd even realised. For the king, the emperor, titles kept seeming to breed more titles. The black dragon, the scourge of the red keep, the destroyer. These names will all be used to describe Valyrian Cinder before the end. The saviour, the great hope. The Reclaimer. These names will all be used to describe Valyrian Cinder. But titles are just that. Titles. They've no true power. No meaning. Dragons. They have power. Lands. They have meaning. Armies have both. And soon the Emperor shall need his wits, his strength, and his swords to fight his greatest foe yet and to do so in a true show of force, to burn, to make his titles known all the cross. Westeros was about to meet House Cinder. Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones, where we are playing as Emperor Valerian, the Black of North Valyria. And what an interesting situation. We're, we're currently wounded, which is a bit of a problem. But we are, we've already secured succession through Magor. Prince Magor married to his wife, Jahira, who's an incredible fighter with a lot of potential. Although, you know, Magor isn't that bad himself. Just, you know, a mastermind scholar. Very, very good, but just maybe far too trusting based on that. And uh, we have our granddaughter as well, uh, Sainris Cinder, who, ooh, I think humility will be good. So we're already on our, our, our path towards securing, hopefully, a long line here, especially if Magor has a son. So, we, we are in a, a pretty good situation, and we are, of course, now beginning in the mighty city of Valyria, but we have no idea, basically no idea, if or when this is going to start. We need to get it to an advanced colony first. That's undisputed. Thankfully, all of our other lands are no longer colonies, so those can move on at least, and we can focus on spending what we do have on upgrades, which is going to be very well accepted. Prisoner Hi. When did I take this guy as a prisoner? I don't remember this. When did I get all these guys as prisoners? 
Ooh, if it looks as a new rider, the Lady of Astapor. Lady Viscera rides upon the back of Ifelix. We were wondering who's going to ride it. Ah, and the winter is starting to spread. It's in the Port of Size now. My cousin, Lord Paramount Alex Cinder, has tried to have Mr. Orion and Marine arrested, but failed to apprehend him, but the man came for his own justice. Alex absolutely hates us. This man will do anything he can to kill us. I mean, we did take his throne from him, so it makes sense. That guy's paying a huge ransom. It must be from Yeti. Yeah, he's a grandson of the uh, Lime Green Emperor. The Emperor in ranks. A trial by combat for Orion that he lost and he's now in house arrest. I don't know if Trial by combats are so much a thing in Essos. I don't believe so. But I find this a very odd situation. Chaste or temperate or less full glass? Let's hope for temperate. Ah, chaste. Not great. It's Mayris, right? Yeah. Oh, the winter's getting even worse. Maris is really, like, this is his age of, like, at 14 years these stats. He could be better than his brother, Magor. We did marry Magor to Jahira to secure the same. Is Maris the heir of... I don't think he is, right? No, it's Jahira's is the heir of uh, Volantis. Which is going to be very interesting. The brother, he will be the brother of the Emperor. That'd be an interesting dynamic to see if it works out. The High Lordship of the Lower Roy. Interesting. Must be one of the ones up here. To force Lord Primrose Alex to handsome to join all factions. My flagship Zut uh, Zutvar has given good years in Orphalir Feet, but is now aging. Can retire her or upkeep her? Oh, we're going to try and upkeep her. What about her uh, Majesty? What happened to Majesty? Do I not own that ship anymore? No, this marine owned majesty. Okay, I finally healed from my wounds. No, what, what happened to majesty then? That's an interesting question. Maybe he got sunk during the, the war. But at least we have a flagship here. It was built for Regal. When when he was a uh, leader of Yunkai. Okay. For Jaharis, we'll get him the best education possible, since he will one day be a king. The king in Volantis. The Valyrian Scrolls of Valyria. What an incredible name. I have... Wait, I have Valyrian Skull. Did Valyrian die around here? I don't really remember that. Uh, Aonara. Uh, we'll get her a good tutor. I'll go into debt a little bit to get her a proper tutor. A range patrolable. Bayron of Astapor. I assume he's the... No, he's not even the heir of Astapor then. Absolutely not. I'm already going to marry to the heir of Astapor. Why do I not? Is this like a mark of scarring? A, a boar, son was born to Prince of Magor and uh, uh, of North Valeria, Princess Jahir of North Valeria, named Baynar. Baynar's a really good name. I think we go with Baynar. Baynar Cinder is now the heir. He's born a lunatic, born with the hair lip. But he's attractive. <laughs> Last too long, Alex Cinder has occupied my rightful seat. Prince Orion! You also hate me, but I really hate Alex. So I might be inclined for this. Interesting. So he is Bathan's um, son. So he is Regal's great uncle? No, just uncle. Just uncle. Okay. Interesting. For a hundred gold. Sure. I'm going to do it. But then I'm going to need to sell some slaves. But to afford anything. Which means I'm now going to need... Who? I don't care about anything going on in Pentos. <laughs> That's just a matter of fact. 
My chief general, Dayron Aina, is a hard worker, and not everyone seems to like him. And suddenly having him to heighten the morale of the soldiers. Let's try and recruit more men. Mm. Morale of army seems good, if, if, if he's well liked. Knighted by a legendary knight. Who knighted him? Darren is, uh, I mean, he's only 21, but let's try and get our uh, sway him a bit, get him on our side. Well, Paramount Regal II for North Valyria. Interesting. So it is the Isle of Cedars and Regal the Wicked. Pushing this. Bassa now. Every Ifelix is just getting around, it seems. Why is she. What? I hope she doesn't live in a Garrus. Apparently so. Can I invite her to court? She will not accept my offer? Unless I plot to kidnap her. But no, that will just get... I mean, hey, if Ifelix wants to live in the ruins of Illyria, I can't really stop him. We can have more dragons in the dragon pits because the ones we brought in from Marine. Ask politely. I'm sure he'll totally accept with how much he dislikes me. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Take that one now. <laughs> Even if he does hate me. Uh, let's delegate honorary titles because I don't really want to micromanage that. Drive these savages from our lands. Hot. What I do want to consider is another match between perhaps Mayris and Elara, or maybe Jaharis and Elanara? Because otherwise, who would I marry Mayris to? He's just second in line. Are there any other. Lyanna Lady Marine, she's too young. Let's do culture and get down to Asasi Valyrian. Hmm. Oh, Paymanyon, isn't that the... Yeah, she's, so she's a granddaughter of the Lord, former Lord of the Isle of Seda. Uh, <coughs> Tarfion is the Lord down here. And she's the second in line, actually. But she's a boss. Ugh. Why did you have to be a bastard? You would have been perfect. Why couldn't you just have a non-bastard kid, Mr. Zord or Oliar? Let's keep looking for... I think I will marry these two, so we're going to keep looking for matches for Mayris. Uh, Fine, I'll grant your request. Let's see, are there... How many High Valyrians are there? Did it, priest. Gotcha. Oh, the fairest of Illyria for my daughter, absolutely. A well-deserved name, I think all would agree. It's, it's a lot of pureborn. A yeah, high Valyrian. It's mostly other sinners. Um, and then Kakossi, yeah, so it's, it would have to be an SOC Valyrian, most likely. Who's she? No. I thought he was a larger role, but no, he's just a... I think this, um... Paymanyon will be the best pick, actually. Even if she's a granddaughter. For Mary's. And then we marry... Oh, you're married to... You're betrothed to Rayira Cinder. Oh, maybe I should have actually looked then. Rayira <coughs> Cinder. That is... Frusena's line? No, for Jackwas's line. Lord Jackwas Cinder, who was one of the sons of um, Jaehaerys the Mad. Lord Mataris of Ariel Green. I did not know... I did not know that this guy existed. Another Cinder. 
over here in Ariel Green. One of, um, Jaehaerys' sons. No, sorry, grandparents. One of his, uh, grandsons. That is surprising, honestly. I mean, you, when you look at just how many children Jaehaerys the Mad had, it does make a lot of sense. Uh, would this be your firstborn? Yes, then we will accept that. That it seems like a fair match for her. I didn't even pay attention to where the... I think he just left when his guys got ready. Let's just send those troops back down then. I'm not paying. What? The Targaryens are back on the Iron Throne. An Aethon kept this? How did they win back the Iron Throne? And she's, he's already at war with the Kingdom of the Reach, which is part of a different empire. I... I'm a bit baffled here. In a peasant revolt. I can't believe this! We are in... <laughs> we are a hundred years, basically, since the dynasty fell, and somehow House Targaryen is back on the Iron Throne. This could be interesting, because this could be beneficial to us. He doesn't have a dragon. We could now marry into this line. So his heir is Lord Larian. And also I've just married away my daughter, so I can't. But we will... We're going to pin the Targaryen so we can at least be interested. But we need to find a way to get Vandalhand back. It sucks, so it's not really worth fighting a war over it. But I could not do a dragon conquest on the Iron Throne, which is very funny, and could be something we're going to do, like, well in the future. But, you know, well in the future, which is and not now. Absolutely not now. Interesting. Marine is at war, is it? Oh, it's the war for Prince Orion, right? Interesting. So Prince Orion is... So this is the army of Daelus, so loyal to Alex. I think they just basically wiped the other army here. It's a bit of the problem is I, uh, unless it just naturally says all of these are Yunkai's armies. Okay, no, this is Orion's army. Yeah, Orion lost. And he got captured. I cannot imagine him surviving this, unless I negotiate his, uh, ransom his release. No, he wouldn't accept it. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. The kids, at least, they are, they're in my capital still, right? Yes, they are. Let's educate these guys. Let's, let's keep them... Because I'm... Uh, I'm probably going to end up as their... Unless their father gets released, I'm going to be their educator. Okay, no, he is willing to release them. There you go. The sum of ten gold for Prince Orion. I mean, I'm definitely willing to keep Orion around the court because Orion is looking at least at least decent. Genius, terrain fighter, ruthless as well, but very, very good personal combat skill. We could maybe make him a commander. At the very least, he's going to hang around court because he is a, a of my dynasty. Even if he's of Bathan's line, he is still a cinder. Someone's trying to murder Jaehaerys? And now... Jaehaerys... Wait, so... Someone... Either the betrothal got broken or somebody has murdered... Jaehaerys is betrothed. Hmm. Yeah, the betrothal's just broken. Okay. Is this another guy trying to drink wildfire? Yes, it is. This man is the maddest of them all. Because for some reason, people just cannot stop drinking wildfire. Like, it is incapable for them to be... Ooh, uh, yes. Incapable for them to be normal and not burn themselves to death. Makes sense a Red Priest was asked for a, a child there. Red Priests are, uh... Are somewhat famous of that. Marius wants a... He wants a fife of his own. 
No. I, I don't care. He's a second son. Where are these savages? Fifteen men. I am terrified. This is meant to be these ones, but they're not in my land, so I don't think so. I think these 26 troops are meant to be the threat. What? This 50 year old dude is the father. And she even admits it as my second wife. I'm gonna have to. I could revoke the royal privilege. That would be really showing her. But I don't wanna do that to my son. To Jaharis, because he is still my son. At least I hope he's my son. Let's see if I can arrange a divorce. Yep, it works. Well, I mean, I'm, I am basically the head of state in the Valyrian religion. So. And once again, she offers to marry me. No, not after what you did. Not after your confession. I will not marry a harlot. I mean, I'm arbitrary, right? Yeah, it makes sense I do this. Okay, we will fulfill the marriage for uh, Aelo, Aelo Lena. Uh, we'll get the customary dowry. Oh, is he being attacked by Yunkai? Okay, he's going for the du jour war. 26k against... Well, he's definitely going to win the first battle because this army can't defend this. But it's against 26... Oh, it's actually a very balanced war. But it's going to take a while for Aethon to land troops in our lands. Also, is that really the name they've given him? Magor the Messi? I guess it's because he can't eat normally because of his hair lip. Which still feels like an insult. Now they just need to secure uh, Vadahan. They still own the city. Never gave up the city, at least. Just everything else, apparently, of this one specific province. <laughs> Valix. I, I am considering... That apparently, I've been told there is a mod. That means that only your family can take dragons, and I think... After this episode, I'm going to it. This episode, I wanted to let Ifelix go where Ifelix is going to go. Because I thought it would be unfair if I did it now to like force Ifelix to stay in the family. But after this, I'm going to um, implement it. And from then on, we're going to see what's going to happen with a lot of these dragons. And now I think it's going to be quite interesting. Assuming that it will actually work, because I am implementing a mod halfway through. And that sometimes breaks things. Let's have a look. What could I most do if I have a, a crown of pearls, which isn't that good. Neither is my gold sword either, honestly. Do I have jewels fitting of my status or a deadly weapon? Well, I have my deadly weapon. I have Chimera, so I don't need that. Ruby Scepter, I assume, is, is the jewels fitting of my station. Let's see if we can get a better one. Or maybe a different jewel. The La, the second, the downcast. I mean... It's an accurate name. Let's be honest here. This man is downcast. He is... An adult. Okay. I will attend his, um, his feast in Astapor. The young guy's... Ooh. Look the big ones here. He's... He's sieging the capital. The Yunkai, Yunkai is sieging the capital. <laughs> he does have a dragon. He does have um, Ephelinos, which apparently Westeros don't have dragons, so... Hey, maybe it'll work.
funeral for Shira. She was the rider of, um... What is she the rider of? One of the dragons. And this does the other Shira, because I do have a many Shira. And Goldsmith. Hmm. Get the best one, because we have the money. What's this seven king of attacking? Prince Robert. Who's he? It's Larry and Prince Shira. Is it a brother? I'm not sure who Prince Robert is. 122 good for gold for a prosperity bonus. He is a very good. And she failed. Ugh. You promised me. You promised you were capable. Apparently you weren't. Uh, organize the... Let's get the base up because basically all of our holdings have max troops. So I don't need any benefit there. Other than... I assume Valyria, but that's because its levy is set to zero. And building any new holdings would, would also have be set to zero while colony exists. Good news, my emperor, Jabin said excitedly. The goldsmith has informed me that precious metals and gemstones have been located in a nearby province. If we send an expedition, it could increase the quality of the crown jewels we're currently crafting. Very well. Again, I don't care about going too much into debt. Could take out another loan anyway. It's our yearly income so good. Alex is plotting to kill me. I'm to stop back in the plot. He'll say no. Oh, I've plot to kill him. Why not? Join my plot. I, mean, I can just set it to automatically auto invite. Auto invite. Basis men are, are very interesting. That you you need such a high uh, person to even try it in the first place. Who? Oh, right next to each other. That's really going to help them. Uh, let's get Rhaegal Jahira. Does Jahira have a dragon? I don't think she tamed one. No. So she could be a potential dragon tamer rather than a dragon uh, hatcher. The school is good to have a balance of both. Oh, so you, you could get your uh, by two or by three. Two. Okay, didn't get lucky. Don't know how long that army was up for, by the way. I wasn't even paying attention. Give him a quality artifact. Well, I should have spare artifacts now that I've got these new ones. Is the Emerald Scepter better? Yes. So we will equip that instead. Sword of Heroes is definitely better than the Golden Sword, even though it does the exact same. <laughs> but it's shinier, and therefore it's better. Crown of Majesty. I don't even, is that name like intentionally named after the dragon? Because I don't think it is, and yet it's the perfect name. The Crown of Pearls. I will. Give that to my son, I think. Give artifact crown of pearls. And I will give you. Let's grant him. Maybe the Valyrian Scorpion Valyria. <laughs> Maybe you can give away your own whip. I don't think that would work. Legendary object. Is it a reward for Hans Einar for years of dedicated service? And for 
for some reason not owning um, geese. Like, they keep giving geese away, even though it's a fully built province now. So this kid has 11k troopers by himself. Oh, my God. Why is she in hiding? Oh, because she's in a fan of umps. Oh, dear. He's a bastard. Born to vein or the mule. I should have you killed for this. I'm going to have him in prison, I don't care. Wait, I didn't get... Huh? He captured his kid? Why did I capture his kid but not him? That is a bit odd. I wanted to capture him and kill him for, um... Sullying the dignity of Princess Chihira. I can't believe she would, she would do that herself, honestly. She's to be the future queen, and, and she can't take care of herself. I was going to give her... I may still give her the golden sword. Just so she'll like me, at least. Because my son loves me. Which isn't surprising. Maybe I could also gift him... Yeah, maybe I have spare armor, but I actually don't have spare armor. I will give him the... Ruby Scepter, at least. Yeah. Perhaps it would increase Sir Damon's opinion of me. How good is his, his opinion? Still pretty bad. Um, instead of a small gift. Oh, we appreciated it. Very good. If we can get a &R to be super happy with us, then we can basically curtail any chance of revolution, because no chance that, like, Yunkai... Well, no, Yunkai's loyal because he's my brother, so Yunkai would raise with us. Queen Manaris may not raise with us anymore, in all honesty. But, uh, obviously, Jaehaerys would, because he's my son. He's my also my son. She's married to Valerian... She, she, she couldn't marry me, so she married a guy with my name. Masterian and Lord Paramount Daeron become rivals. Interesting, so my commander and one of my commanders despise each other. A chainmail armor added to their treasury. Not my chainmail armor, right? No, not mine. Just a set of chainmail armor. Lord Mataris of Arleor Green, a cinder, has been imprisoned by Queen Malaris. I'm assuming he has committed a crime or two. Uh, well, he's a lunatic, so he's definitely committed a crime or two. He has the Prince Jackpot. Of Magister Bellano. I think that sword probably broke. But he has the Prince Jackwas. It was built by Prince Jaqua Cinder of Ali or Green, so that is his father. Interesting. Can I build another flagship? Or am I not able to build one, now that one's been built? Where is he? Always over here. Yunkai losing his war. Am I able to... Off to join his war? You know what? Let's do it. Let's join his war. Let's see how they respond to some dragon fire. Oh, rough. Unite with the local armies here. These ones are just going to take care of the rebels. The word of an epidemic. 
It was used of an epidemic in the Vale. The information is vague, but the words people are dying like flies, and the fear of disease is spreading as fast as the friction itself. Furthermore, the conditions will be irreversible as well as incurable. The scattered record of events are even worris uh, worrisome. With no source of evil revealed, people are turning to the gods and on each other to protect themselves from the contagion. Oh dear. Summer sickness, perhaps. Type not knowing what quite was wrong. Okay, Dayron is breaking people on the wheel here. Jesus Christ. Dayron, you're going a bit mad with power. Let's take out the Harlors are here. I wonder how the Harlors will feel about some dragon fire. Oh, diligent. I'm happy to get uh, Sainris with it. Diligent. The granddaughter. And Kodos has hatched the he a he dragon. Interesting. He's a saucy Valyrian through his own line. Okay. Oh my goodness. I was going to say maybe we land in Westeros. No, Westeros is. Uh, they weren't. Like, they showed it in the Vale, but this is well beyond the Vale. The Crownlands is overtaken by sickness here. And the king is captured? Captured where? He's captured in... Oh, I said that kid who just got his dragon, his dragon never woke up. He's captured in Highgarden in his other war. Been crushing the army there. Let's keep this army here and just lower it. I'll lower it when that army is gone. When we can lower it. King and Marine. Uh, I don't know why. No. Okay, now I have to wait to disband this. Interesting that Hesh is directly under me. What well, I thought it would be under Marine. Maybe I need to fix that when we get back. Maybe I need to give these to Marine, because these are meant to be Marine. Technically, this is meant to be Marine, but I keep forgetting to get rid of this guy. Every time I do the save edits, I completely forget to take care of this guy. Um, she's been taking my gold. I'll let her go in exchange for a favor just because I need a court position. My court positions always end up being the worst. Uh, Meris can be a temporary chief general while we until we get Astapor and moves back. Pack these armies. They're trying to land a lot here, actually. I need to get moving. I love how I'm talking in private with Darian while I'm also leading an army. Um, maybe Horio on this side, then. We're going to have a Vale army here. We have two Yunkais, by the looks of it. This war isn't going as quite as I thought it was. I lose more men per battle than I planned in the siege. It's siege going on forever. And I could ask him to join the war. I don't need him. Catch the Vale in battle. They're doing significantly better than I thought they would. Obviously, they're not going to beat a dragon. But that is a lot more damage than I would like to see. I might need... Actually, call in technically my main forces. These guys are really the main forces. Like, these are the Empire's forces, whereas this is the Crown's forces, is how I sort of see it. Let's get these united here. I'm going to send the navy to pick them up. Uh, let's get Zanario and Zano here as well. What? Travelers and merchants seeing solar wave men of Sephorius. The Brindlemen are invading. Who? What? Is this a, f a thing? Oh. Took out Sir Elden of Westfold. 
Captain Artifact of the Hedgehogs. We've captured Lord Roderick Flint. Flint's finger. I wasn't expecting to fight a war against the Iron Throne. I mean, I was expecting if we did go to war with the Iron Throne, we'd probably win. And we are. But we're not winning by as much as I would have liked. He's currently under threat from external enemies. Okay, who's uh, who's attacking him? He's being attacked by... Bogo is not a threat. Are you kidding me? I'll go to the funeral. God damn it. He needs to keep catching these guys wherever we can. We're losing so many men over and over again. Now I'm going to have to lose 200 gold to keep feeding Valyria. I'm actually losing money per month as well. Ooh. It's like hoping you someone pick up someone eventually. Valar is now riding Tarion. Who is um, a child of Galarix, who is of Zuvdar, who is of Faxalix. So Faxalix is his great-grandson. Interesting. Okay. Do I dare just sail these? Okay, we're already taking King's Landing. That's why I say, shall I just sail these King's Landing? When my daughter's Princess Iona was beset by a high fever when not something fear the worst. The suspicions are confirmed. She caught the plague. The great sickness. Okay, I'm... <sighs> she, she caught it in battle then, I think. Also, I've reached 50 and my face is apparently completely boiled over on itself. They're just, they're just uh, fleeing. They don't really matter. And they're gonna keep fleeing by the looks of it. And I keep forgetting this army, so you know what? Let's just unite these armies and marine them. Since I keep forgetting they exist, I might as well do something with them. I lose so much money because I just get I have armies raised, apparently. And then these on the capital. The defeat in the Siege of Bad the Han. Are they retaking it? They are. Let's take out the Fowlers here. Prince Maerus, my son, wants to kill Orgas. Sure. I don't know why we're doing this, but I'm fully with you. This Orgas guy's awful. Don't know why I hate him, but I do. Looks like we killed... Oh no, the Emperor died in the dungeons of the Lady of the Reach. Which is maybe why the Stormlands are independent now, honestly. So the, it seems Dawn was the only one loyal to the Iron Thread. Dawn, the Veil... And then, like, Flint's fingers and some random northern lords were, were loyal here. But the Rock is... Honestly, I think they're a bigger threat than the Iron Throne. Yeah, 90k troops. The Rock is actually probably the biggest threat in this game. And I'm including the fact that uh, United Bravos here, because I don't consider this United Bravos a massive threat. We've taken King's Landing, but he's not there. I say we could just, we're just going to keep burning King's Landing. This is... This is no longer a war. This is a show of force. To... He's just... Hey, Rint, since he's just stealing everything. The Lord of Nukies. He's basically... Anytime he, he fights somebody, he takes their armor from them. <laughs> like, wow, Hayford armor is incredible. Can I buy this from you, please? <laughs> That's really good armor. Catch these troops in Marine. Should not get involved. Dark! Oh my god, you gotta. St he's gotta stop. He's just stealing all of these sets of ancient armor now. He's thinking like how's Darklin's armor? Who who would it have belonged to? It would belong to. I mean, it's a kid. So to get it took it off from one of her uncles or something, maybe who held the armor. Okay. But turns out I forgot that you can't open the religion screen or your game crashes. Whoops. However, I think I'm confident in 
declaring a victory here. Because we have... Like, we the first of all, it was only the Black Dells and the God's Woods we don't have left. In fact, let's let's take those. Because truthfully... Oh, Jesus, people are actually dying of this this plague. I believe it's spread to us. Is it literally all over the place? No, they're, they're dying in war. They have to be. They're dying fighting over here. You know what? If that's the case, we will we'll declare the war here. Because people are literally dying from this war. We will enforce our demands. Stand down our army. I... Okay, we'll get you back on your ship. Yeah, this showed up. And I was dumb and I clicked on it and it crashed my game. And dismissed that. Uh, we're going to put you on your boat. And send you back home. This is, I think, is a huge sort of statement to... Um, sort of... Basically all the powers. Because this is, this is a showcase to them where I'm basically saying... This is what I did to the Iron Throne. Look, look at the size of this kingdom and it just fell to me. It couldn't handle me. Uh, let's take these troops back home. And all of this just over a tiny bit of land. Because I'm that petty and I'm that incredible and I'm that strong. I mean, I'm I'm proud of that. I think this, that was a very good showcase of our, our raw power and strength. Of course, the uh, problem now is how many people died. We've lost a lot of troops doing that. This rock... This rock is like a, such a massive danger. Like, the Lannisters still exist in Lannisport, which is good for them. But Castle of Rock belongs to this King Davin. Oh, we'll cover this in a moment. King Davin of the Rock, who owns 63,000 men. And that's on the low end. He can get a lot higher than that. But this is a real, real danger, this guy. Honestly, I'd say a bigger threat than the Iron Throne. Oh, definitely a bigger threat than the Iron Throne. Now we've beaten down their army. But if they're at their max, I... Still think they're a way bigger threat. The Rock has got the Reach and the Westlands, which is two of the largest armies. And the Riverlands, which is a, certainly a notable army as well. I think if the Iron Throne had the Riverlands, maybe it'd be more balanced. But it really, it really just isn't balanced. So Quicksilver has passed away. One of the last, the, basically the last OG dragon. And now we are left with her, her children. Oh no, Maraxes are still alive. Maraxes are still alive and ridden by um, Baela. But with Quicksilver's death, we now have a uh, Lehuria and Firecatcher. It's basically the only ones left. Uh, I'll pay the interest. Okay, now that you're back home, you're all heroes and you can all stand back. I hope I don't have to go send armies to go fight. Surely he has enough troops for this. I mean, he would if he stopped moving around so much. Giving him Antares. I don't care if the greed becomes me. Uh, you want to marry me to your daughter, Lady Leanne? Sure. It, I mean, it's matrilineal, but it also won't matter. Because I don't think I'm going to be privileged. <laughs> By the time she's 16, I will be 56. Or 57. Interesting. Amar. Morgano. Oh, Mayris? Why why am I not available as a name of the grandfather option here? Pretty sure you should be named I'm gonna force you to name your kid Valerian. <laughs> How dare the game not recognize me as your grandfather? Oh Did Valar die? Yes, Valar passed away of the bloody flux, so the illness. He caught it too. Uh, I shall do the commander myself. That's right, coward. Back to wherever you came from. Why am I leading this army? Let's not have me lead this army. Let's have none of my family lead this army, in fact. Lord Paramount Valix of Astapor. Now right upon Tyrion. This guy's a real... That haircut is a pure Chad haircut. This guy immediately is, is one of my favourites now. 
Look at this, Lord Paramount Valix. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Abomination of Incest. I mean, who isn't at this day and age? <laughs> has that, uh, there's a Thieves Guild in Valyria? I was going to say, has the illness faded? I mean, it looks like the illness has faded, but we're not getting any events. Uh, do I need troops anywhere? Yeah, I need to get on... Oh, I can't decide because I'm beating the troops silly me. That's why there's no troops here, because these are the troops. But these will need to be fixed up, because they are lower than I would like them to be. Fogo's armies again. We impress that Lord Paramount Elix the Handsome and the Zala marry. Sure. I don't know who she is. You're welcome to her. We can catch him in, um... Vahiz Ajdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavdavd
and he refused to fight. I think this war sh with Fogo should now end. Is it my war or his war? No, he has to end it. Come on, Hazan. Yeah, you, you gotta... You gotta stop just stealing these weapons, my man. <laughs> he is so much stuff he's taken. He is... He's just... Okay, well, he's now claimed it for himself, at least. The longsword of the Einar dynasty. And with us lowering our armies here, the Nessie disputed land is at least in a civil war? Yes, they are. What's Volantis fighting? Oh, they're doing a slave raid. Okay, well, we're going to bring these troops back. We're going to disband them. And that is where we are going to call it for this episode. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support on this franchise. When this video comes out, I should be either working on or releasing. Uh, Patreon, this will probably you, but so Patreon, so you know. I'll be releasing something to coincide with the release of the CK3 Dragons. It should be coming out a week after the Dragons release, as obviously I don't have early access to it, unfortunately. But I think it is there's a really good chance for an incredible story to be made with dragons and the story i've prepared is a lot of fun something else i want to announce is the dragon series i'm hoping will last a while but i do have future plans to bring back house steed for those of you guys have been with me since the very beginning you'll know house steed and i think a ck3 return for house steed would be a wonderful thing the house Steed series i never wanted it to end but it ended because the game was crashing too much clearly the fact that we're so many episodes into North Valyria and the only crashes are because I keep clicking buttons I shouldn't click is a showcase that this is a much more stable game now. And there's a lot we can do with it. So, with us now in Valyria, with us now at the age of 50, having a really long and successful reign, all of our children now grown up, but outliving a child. That is where we are going to call it for this episode. Will we continue to grow our colony in Valyria? Will Volantis prosper under Queen Malaris, who cheated on me for her bastard son, Viserys Cinder, and her future heir, Prince Jaehaerys, seeking to gain a fief of his own? Interesting. Well, I'm sure he'll be watching these walls with great intent. With so many Cinders now on thrones, can any deny this is the greatest dynasty to have ever lived. But there's still so much more for it to do. And to find out what we're doing next. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then. <laughs>